This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. Welcome in. Hope you're having a fabulous start to your Friday morning. I'm Rebecca Smith. Here we go. Here comes the weekend. I'm Bill Bryant. It is good to have you along with us this morning. Now at 6 a.m., a pedestrian was shot at while walking in a neighborhood. Details on who the suspects are just ahead. Also on WKYT this morning, a nearly 10-hour standoff in a Lexington neighborhood ends peacefully. Now the man responsible is set to face a judge and try to explain the incident. And two people were seriously injured after being hit by a school bus at a busy Frankfurt intersection. On we'll an update on their condition just ahead. Temperatures in the 60s this morning. We are dry too. Then we head off towards your afternoon. We can't rule out a chance at a couple of showers today. Most of that will be eastern Kentucky. I'm going to show you how far I expect that to actually come west coming up in just a few minutes. Let's get right to the news. Two teenagers accused of shooting at a pedestrian in Lexington in a neighborhood right along a sidewalk have now been identified. Yeah, we're told the two men were driving on Judy Lane near Paris Pike when the shots were fired. WKYT's Mike Byer is joining us live with more details. Good morning. Good morning, Rebecca. We now know the two names of the teenagers Lexington police arrested after shots were fired in a Lexington neighborhood. Police say 19 year old Xavier Johnson and 18 year old Trevantes Lillard are responsible. Police tell us Lillard fired shots at a man who was walking on a sidewalk along Judy Lane near Paris Pike. Now, an off duty police officer who lives nearby heard what happened, saw the suspects, and began chasing them. Other officers quickly joined in. Two miles away on Augusta Drive, police say they stopped the suspects and arrested them. Police charged Johnson, the driver, with fleeing and evading, and the passenger, Lillard, is charged with wanton endangerment. Now, the good news besides the two men being arrested is nobody was hurt in all of this. Live in Lexington, Mike Byer, WKYT. Mike, thank you very much. A 10 hour standoff ended peacefully shortly after we went off the air yesterday morning, and the man responsible is now going to be facing a judge this morning. It was quite the dramatic uh, yeah. situation yesterday. We were following all morning for you. Police were, were eventually called out to Doville Drive just after midnight for a call of shots fired. That's when this all just took off. When they arrived, Ryan Kmart, they said, fired at least one shot at them before barricading himself in his home with his wife and two young children. Eventually, he let his wife and one of the kids go. Police later pursued to release the second child, or actually, I should say, persuaded. Kmart surrendered peacefully just after 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday. He will be arraigned this afternoon. Police credit the training and patience of officers for the safe outcome. A man accused of robbing a Red Roof Inn is going to be facing a Fayette County judge as well today. Aaron Brenniger is charged in the robbing of a hotel on Wilhite Drive at Knife Point back in February. According to our news partners at the Herald Leader, Brenniger turned himself in earlier this week. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevan is expected to make an announcement today. Michelle Chamberlain is at the live desk with more on what the governor may be addressing. We don't know a whole lot right now, Michelle. Yeah, we don't, but we do know that the governor is expected to make what his staff is calling an important announcement today, but so far, we don't know what that announcement will be about. The last time the governor made an announcement, he said his administration uncovered possible illegal activity by the previous administration. That included federal charges against former state employee Tom Longmire. The Bevan administration has given no indication as to what today's announcement will be about. We do know that it will take place at 10 o'clock this morning at the state capitol. Be sure to follow WKYT on Twitter to be the first to know what the governor has to say. At the live desk, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. And we'll, of course, be on the air with our mid-morning newscast at 10 o'clock as well, and uh, we'll pass along any info that comes down from that announcement from the governor. In Lexington, the Urban County Council has given final approval to a $345 million budget for the city. Our partners at the Herald Leader report that budget includes money to hire 20 new police officers and more than $5 million for a new fire station in Masterson Station. The budget also includes $7 million for a youth sports complex, along with with money to upgrade city pools, and it gives 3.5% raises to city employees. Mayor Jim Gray now says he does not plan to veto any items in the city budget. Kentucky State University's Board of Regents will meet today to review and approve the university's budget for the upcoming school year. KSU was exempt from Governor Matt Bevin's budget cuts earlier this year because of its precarious financial situation. Well, a Florida gun shop owner says Omar Mateen, who, the gunman who killed 49 people inside the Pulse nightclub, tried to buy body armor from the store, but employees turned him away and called the FBI. 
Yesterday, President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden met with survivors and paid their respects to victims' families in Orlando. The deadly shooting in Orlando has been felt across the nation, particularly in the LGBT community. Local gay bars are meeting with Lexington police today to discuss increased security for their businesses in preparation for the city's Gay Pride Festival that is set for next weekend. The Lexington Pride Festival taking place on Saturday, June 25th. Police say two people were seriously injured after a school bus slammed into their car at a busy Franklin County intersection. Officer Don shot some video, some aerials from Sky First at the crash in U.S. 127 in Frankfurt. Witnesses working construction nearby immediately tried helping the people involved. They grabbed their equipment and ran and tried to get them out of the car. I ran back over this way and grabbed a crowbar and hopped on top of it and just tried to, you know, try to pry the door open for them so they can get to them. Well, the driver of the car was airlifted to UK with life-threatening injuries. Police say the person remains critical this morning. The passenger, who also suffered serious injuries, was taken to Frankfurt Regional Medical Center for treatment. About 50 students from Breathitt County were on the bus. Police say they were all okay. Investigators are still trying to figure out what led to the crash. The Mercer County coroner has identified the victim of a deadly crash near Harrodsburg. Police say Scotty Alcorn of Taylorsville died after being hit by a semi truck on US 127. They say Alcorn was hit by that semi after trying to avoid an SUV that crossed in front of him just before. We're told the driver of the semi was not injured. Police say three people inside the SUV suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Well, employees at Elizabethtown McDonald's say they're thankful that everybody got out safely after the restaurant went up in flames. Firefighters say the fire started in some mulch near the entrance to the building. At this time, they do not suspect arson. Firefighters battled the flames for several hours there at the Golden Arches. We're told the first responder there, one of them at least, was taken to the hospital for heat exhaustion, he is expected to be fine. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. All of us looking toward the weekend, that is for sure, especially from all the heat we've had. We just kind of want a break from having to get outside and get into that. Good news here is, yeah, the weekend's coming up and also some much, much milder temperatures coming up to where it's 68 degrees right now in Laurel County and you head over toward Breathitt County, 66 degrees, mid 60s, pretty much everywhere you look. And also those clouds off in the distance, there's Lexington and those clouds are over toward the eastern zones, northeastern zones. They're moving our way. We will have uh, mostly cloudy skies later on this afternoon. And not only that, but that chance of rain in the forecast. Now, it's not a great chance, and not everybody will see this rain, but we're still looking at least the opportunity anywhere from 2 p.m. to about 9 p.m. That's your best bet. Look at this, though. This looks good. 82 degrees? We'll take that. Remember, we hit low 90s, even some mid 90s yesterday in a couple locations and add that humidity to it and the heat indices were right there around 100 degrees yesterday for many locations across the viewing area. Let's talk about the rain chance. Farther east you go, better likelihood of actually seeing some of that rain, but still that's 40%. I mean, that'll take you from Moorhead and go down toward the Mountain Parkway all the way to Hal Rogers Parkway back toward the east. You could get some rain across 75 and even as far east as, say, Danville and also work your way down into Dunville, Liberty there in Casey County across 127. There's that possibility. Remember, this green shaded area, you're talking 20%. And if you do get a shower over you, it's not going to be much, okay? This, these are not heavy thunderstorms that are moving in. These are light showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but for the most part, light showers. Now, it takes you off into the weekend. Your weekend looks much better, feels much better. Low humidity, 84 degrees there on Saturday. Saturday, a big day. Lake Cumberland Harbor Fest going on. That's in the Jamestown area of Lake Cumberland. That's going to be a blast right there. Just a big party going on for all the family. Head out and about and enjoy that. A lot of biking, cycling events too. Kentucky Century Challenge, that's there. And Georgetown, that's on Saturday and it starts in the morning. Bike Moorhead over in Rowan County, that starts in the morning too. So it's looking pretty good, guys, especially with that low humidity. We'll take that. 87 on Sunday, but still the humidity relatively low. So it's not looking all that bad. And it stays dry this morning. Yeah, looks good and it's feels good, good right? right? Take that and hold on <laughs> to like it. it. Enjoy. It. All right, our time this morning is uh, coming up on 610. Let's bring you weather and traffic as well. Here's Officer Don. Hello, good morning. 
Well, he's not there. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> so we'll just check it out for you, see what's going on. We know that uh, folks are getting on the move this morning. If we can uh, take a map here, we'll show you that uh, things are clean and green throughout the region. No reports of any uh, delays or problems. And let's check the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government uh, um, uh, camera here in just a second. There, the drive time's normal. Uh, Lexington, <laughs> and then there we go, uh, and that's the interstate this morning uh, that uh, you're looking at. As you can see, uh, the location there where one runs over the other, uh, where the intersection. Yeah, let's of keep it. You know, 64 and 75. Let's keep it calm out there on the roads, Everybody, okay? Yeah. It's Friday. Make it safe, and much more news coming up from WKYT this morning. Thanks for being here with us. New cell phone video shows the horrifying scene inside the Orlando nightclub where a gunman opened fire. I'm Marley Hall with the latest on the investigation coming up. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Do you want to lose weight quickly and safely? Do you want to be healthy for a lifetime? Kim did and lost 238 pounds at Ageless Medical Weight Loss. Betty did and lost 135 pounds. The Ageless program is a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. They asked me, you know, a good attorney since I've ever since I've been through things that I would ask them, or I would tell them Becker Law Office because they helped me. And I know they would help them. They worked their magic. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial threes. Hey guys, lunch is here. It's on me, fellas. With the Chase Mobile app, Stephen Curry can send money to more people in less time. Thanks, Steph. No problem. Even to friends at a growing number of other banks. Yeah, there we go. Come on, fellas, let's go. Easy to use Chase technology for whatever you're trying to master. When cigarette cravings hit, all I can think about is getting relief. Only Nicorette Mini has a patented fast-dissolving formula. It starts to relieve sudden cravings fast. I never know when I'll need relief. That's why I only choose Nicorette Mini. Ready for summertime thrills? <laughs> Kentucky Kingdom, the Thrill Park, Hurricane Bay, the Water Park, Two great parks at one low price. Save $10 at your local Kroger. Day tickets only $39.95. Pick up boneless pork chops for $2.99 a pound. And blueberries, raspberries, or blackberries are three for $5. Fresh food, low prices at Kroger. There are certain kinds of roads built for certain kinds of cars. Sweeten you up in a moment of pure driving enjoyment. Just don't get too carried away. The Mazda 3. See a new you at Reflections Med Spa and Wellness Center. Don't miss our cool sculpting event. Call today for limited booking and free assessments. Reflections Med Spa and Wellness Center. Say hello to a new you. WKYT is putting the new back in late news with newer stories and more updates. So there's less repetition, which means no wasted time. WKYT News at 11. Newer, fresher, worth staying up for. UK Opera Theatre presents the best from Billboard to Broadway in our spectacular musical review. It's a grand night for singing. Join us June 10th through 19th at the Singletary Center. Make your night grand. Becker Law Office needed to make sure my financial security was taken care of until I reached retirement. And that's what they did. That's exactly what they did. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial threes. WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Rewind 105.5. Well, we do have an update to just this awful story out of Orlando at the Pulse nightclub shooting this morning. There's been some new cell phone video giving us a glimpse, if you dare, into those terrifying moments and really just chaos inside that club when that gunman went on a shooting rampage. 
disturbing enough just you know with what we know mm -hmm. and now this video has come out and so we want to warn you that it is disturbing and if you don't want to see it obviously don't watch this report but Marley Hall has the latest on the investigation from Orlando. This grainy cell phone video showed more than a dozen people packed into a bathroom stall as Omar Mateen went on a deadly shooting spree inside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. Miguel Leva was shot multiple times. We just tried to keep everybody as calm as possible and, and keep him quiet so he wouldn't come back in there and shoot at us. Sources tell CBS News Mateen checked social media for trending topics like Pulse Orlando and shooting in the middle of his killing spree. Investigators say he also exchanged an I love you text with his wife, Nor Salman. She's been cooperating with police, but officials suspect she knew about the plot and will likely face charges. President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden visited a growing memorial in Orlando Thursday. They left 49 white roses to honor the dead. We will not be able to stop every tragedy. We can't wipe away hatred and evil from every heart in this world. But we can, we can stop some tragedies. We can save some lives. Nearly two dozen victims are still hospitalized. One of them is Angel Colon, who was shot six times and was one of the last people to get out. My name is Officer Omar Delgado. I'm one of the ones that uh, helped you uh, get out of harm's way. Man. Thursday, he met his hero, Omar Delgado, the officer who risked his life and pulled him to safety. I just saw him, his size, his glasses, so I'm like, just help me, please. Marley Hall, CBS News, Orlando. Investigators are also looking at all possible financial support that Mateen may have received from family members, including his father. More information has been released about the death of a little boy attacked by an alligator in Florida. The medical examiner's office in Orlando says an autopsy found that two-year-old Lane Graves died from drowning and traumatic injuries. Investigators say Lane was wading in shallow water of a lagoon at the Grand Floridian Resort Tuesday night when the gator grabbed him and dragged him under the water. Lane and his family were on vacation from Nebraska. Well, in the wake of that attack, Walt Disney World plans to put up alligator warning signs around the waterways in all of their parks and resorts. That's according to a high-level source at Disney. No swimming signs were posted at the resort before the attack happened, but really no gator warnings included in that. All beach areas at Disney World are currently closed. Search teams looking for and capturing alligators in the lake where the attack happened. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders says he will work with Hillary Clinton to transform the Democratic Party. Sanders and Clinton had a private meeting earlier this week. The Vermont senator says the goal of working with Clinton is to ensure that Republican Donald Trump is defeated. Well, today marks the one-year anniversary of the deadly Charleston church shooting. Police say D uh, Dylan Roof was charged and entered the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church and began shooting during a nightly prayer service. He took the lives of nine people, including the church's pastor. Roof was charged with several crimes, including murder. Police say the shooting was a hate crime. Crews in Southern California continue to fight a growing wildfire. You are looking at video from Santa Barbara County. The Sherpa fire started Wednesday afternoon. High winds caused it to spread quickly and now covers more than 1,200 acres. Evacuations are in effect there. Firefighters are battling the flames on the ground and by air using air tankers, heli tankers and helicopters. Shelters have been put up for people who had to leave their homes. There will be a Game 7 in the 2016 NBA Finals. LeBron James had his second straight 41-point game last night as the Cleveland Cavaliers won their second straight must-win game, beating Golden State 115-101. At one point, the Cavs were down 3-1 in the series against the Warriors. No teams come back from a 3-1 deficit to win an NBA championship. The Cavs will give it their best shot to win Game 7 is played Sunday. All right, see if they can make some history. 618 on WKYT this morning. Smith & Wesson says it is selling more guns than ever before. The gunmaker says quarterly firearm sales rose more than 22% from the same period last year. Smith & Wesson says it expects robust sales to continue for the rest of this fiscal year, citing what it called product innovation in both its firearms and accessories. The report was based on sales through April 30th, 
more than a month before Sunday's Orlando shooting. Historically, gun manufacturers see demand rise in the wake of such violent incidents as pro-gun consumers fear new laws will restrict access. Philadelphia has become the first major American city to have a soda tax. The city council there approved a 1.5 cent per ounce tax on all sugary and diet beverages. The city plans to make $90 million from the new tax in the first year. City officials say that money will be used to pay for pre-kindergarten, the community schools there, and recreation centers. The soda industry, though, is expected to sue over the tax and try to block it. It's another sign of improving relations between Cuba and the U.S. Dish Network is partnering with Sling TV to launch a new channel delivering Cuban movies and TV shows right to your living room. The company say Cuba Max TV will be the first in the U.S. to showcase programs and music videos by Cuban artists. WKYT this morning is just getting started. Thanks for starting your Friday morning with us. An eighth grader brings the house down at his middle school graduation with some pretty awesome impressions of the presidential candidates. You will not want to miss this, how he stole the show when we return. Yeah, this kid is awesome. We have some clouds moving on in that could give us that chance of rain, especially this afternoon, but the great weekend forecast is still intact. We're going to talk all about that coming up next. Silver Bell's killer committed six murders. His calling card, a single Silver Bell. This can't be what it looks like. If we don't control this story, it will ruin all of us. It does feel like the killer could be someone close to us. Through a grenade. Well, then maybe you should handle me carefully. A new door can make a huge compliment to windows and siding. That's why Window World, America's largest home remodeling company, carries patio doors, entry doors, and storm doors. All backed by our lifetime limited warranty and guaranteed low price. Window World, simply the best doors for less. Don't you just love it? The $4 menu at Steak and Shake, featuring handcrafted steak burgers, all beef footlongs, and fresh guacamole made from scratch. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4 at Steak and Shake. Join us during the Sleep Outfitters 4th of July Sneak Peek Week. The steals and deals are already here. Check out this exclusive Tempur-Pedic bedding bundle. A queen temper mattress, temper adjustable base, two temper essential support pillows, all for just $44 a month. Buy now and enjoy 0% interest for five years or get a free HDTV. Your choice during the 4th of July Sneak Peek Week, only at Sleep Outfitters. Hmm, you're a problem solver. Oh yeah, you love solutions. You tackle what matters and sack the rest. It's how you stay in your mom game. I get it. And it's how you feel hungry kids. Stock the fridge with Lando Frost premium lunch meat. Taste keeps them happy, protein keeps them full. That is a win-win. And a win-win is mommy gold. Lando Frost, solving family lunch problems since 1958. planning your Dollywood vacation today. Enjoy exclusive guest privileges with your resort stay. Dollywood. Love every moment. The Good Housekeeping Seal represents a promise. From one of the most respected testing labs in America. Window World is one of three companies in this entire nation whose windows have earned this seal. Window World. Simply the best for less. All right. <laughs> 
Here we are. 624 right, is the time. 624. Mike asked us a little question about uh, the weekend weather. You yeah, know, you we, know. We never get asked. We, we always ask him the question. Sometimes he just stumps us with his questions. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, basically, what are you going to do with the nice weather? Okay, 624 is our time this morning yes. on WKYT. So two teenagers accused of shooting at a pedestrian in a Lexington neighborhood have been arrested. Right. Uh, Shooting happening right on a sidewalk. This was trending this hour. It happened last night on Judy Lane near Paris Pike. Trevantes Lillard and Xavier Johnson have both been charged in connection to the shooting. Police say the man they, that they shot was not uh, terribly injured. Kentucky State University's Board of Regents will meet today to review and approve the university's budget. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevan excluded the school from his proposed budget cuts because of their precarious financial situation. And we are anticipating that beautiful weekend to come. And here is meteorologist Micah Harris. Yeah, well, you, you know what we have to get through? We have to get through a small chance at a couple of showers today. That's the one thing you got to get through. And what you're seeing back toward the east and northeast, we've been talking about this during the morning hours, is this cloud, this is a cloud deck moving on in. And it's not really going to allow our temperatures to rise that much more. It's that moisture streaming on in. But this morning, there's not much energy out there. Once you get the daytime heating going, then you can expect a chance of rain later on this afternoon. We look at those temperatures this morning in the 60s. It's not the best feel this morning, not just yet, but afternoon at 82, guys, most of this rain is going to be eastbound, but even eastbound, it's about 40%. I'm going to show you how far west I think it actually comes today, coming up in just about 10 minutes. Hey, thank you. Well, in an effort to save a dog trapped in a hot car, a good Samaritan in Canada threw caution to the wind and one big old rock. Whatever works, right? Eyewitnesses in Ontario say a visibly distressed dog was trapped in a BMW for nearly an hour, and that's when they were having 90 degree temperatures. A passerby wasted no time hurling a rock until it broke the car's window. The would be rescuers then hosed the excited pooch down. I'd say. Didn't take long for that rock to shatter that window. Oh, right. Um, I didn't even know it got that hot there in Canada. Well, uh, you know, you get those temperatures up at all, and yeah. it gets much hotter and inside the car. So, uh, yeah, good action on that guy's well, part. Well, this is an interesting story. A Chicago eighth grader has really just gone viral. He's going to become a celeb in his own right for channeling the presidential candidates in his middle school graduation. This is a lot of fun. We're going to show you a little bit of this. No candidate was safe from Jack Aiello as he spoke to the crowd. Jack gave his best in person. Of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And Bernie. We are going to start winning on every front. We're going to win so much. We will win, and we will win, and believe me, we will win. <laughs> I'm going to run a campaign of unity, a campaign of inclusivity. They've given us the skills we need to get through sixth grade and through seventh grade and through eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Jack beat out a fellow classmates for the chance to speak at the event, which is now becoming a viral sensation on both YouTube and Facebook. And, uh, yeah, what about that? Would you vote for him? He says that he is torn between running for president someday and being a comedian. So, uh... Hmm. Why not be both? Be I guess. both. Yeah, yeah. In, in this day and age, anything <laughs> goes, say, it well, seems. <laughs> where are we right now? You know, right? Okay, our time this morning is 627 on WKYT this morning. The MC for this year's Fancy Farm has just been picked and announced. Find out who will help kick off the unofficial start to the fall campaign season. That's ahead at 630. And tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $310 million. Tomorrow's is $169 million. Keep it right here on WKYT this morning. Brought to you by CareSource, individual and family health insurance, caring for the Commonwealth. Variety Live and the Lexington Theatre Company present Mary Poppins, one weekend only, July 14th through 17th, at the Lexington Opera House. Experience the magic of Mary Poppins. For tickets and information, LexingtonOperaHouse.com. Does your home have an uncapped chimney? Missing, rusted, and damaged chimney caps cause millions of dollars in property damage each year. Protect your home in style with a custom chimney cap from Barnhill Chimney Company. Dad, who's Captain D? Legend has it. It was World War II fighter pilot Captain George Dillinger who crash landed on a deserted island. He survived there for years, perfecting his seafood recipes until he learned that the island wasn't so deserted after all. That's not true, is it? Not even a little, Bobby. The truth is, our new Fish and D's Jumbo Coconut Shrimp Meal is sure to be one of your favorites, like our popular sampler meal. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's got to be D's. Learning never really ends. Every day we learn something new. 
But how often do we get to learn something exciting, something artistic, creative, engaging, industrious? And how often do you get to pick and choose what you learn? Well, now you can. Berea, Kentucky's Festival of Learn Shops, July 8th through the 24th. Learn anything, learn everything. For more details, go to visitberea.com. You never know when you're going to have plumbing issues. When you have plumbing problems, there's only one company to call, H2O Maestro. All plumbing jobs, big or small, clogs, leaks, or repairs, were everywhere in central Kentucky, 24-7, 365. Need a new water heater or interested in a water filtration system? Call now for a free estimate. H2O Maestro, a Fayette Heating and Air Company. Same great 24-7 service you expect for plumbing. We started with the class-leading RX. We gave it paddle shifters to help you command the road. A sport mode to help you control the road. And a sport-tuned suspension to help you connect with the road. The Lexus RX F-Sport. This is the RX Elevated. Lease the 2016 RX 350 for 419 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. Hi, I'm Mark Krish of Coit Cleaning and Restoration. Almost 50 years ago, we pioneered the drapery and carpet cleaning business. With our certified technicians, innovative cleaning methods, and your satisfaction guaranteed in writing, Coit continues to deliver exceptional customer service. For a limited time, choose from any of our cleaning services and save up to 33% off. That's right, one-third off. Is it any wonder why so many homes in the Lexington area have one thing in common, a Coit van in the driveway? Call 1-800-4-COIT today. Does your home have an uncapped chimney? Missing, rusted, and damaged chimney caps cause millions of dollars in property damage each year. Protect your home in style with a custom chimney cap from Barnhill Chimney Company. WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Wild 103.9. This is WKYT This Morning. Kentucky Morning. Start here on WKYT, including your Friday. Good morning. I'm Bill Bryant. I'm Rebecca Smith. Hope you're having a great start to your day. Here we are, and it's now 631. Police have arrested two men last night after shots were fired at a man in a Lexington neighborhood. Today, the Lexington Police Chief plans to meet with owners at gay bars downtown. We'll tell you why coming up. Also this morning, a man wanted for a Western Kentucky bank robbery has been found dead in Tennessee. That and more on WKYT This Morning. And we have some clouds moving on in, but that does not mean rain right now. That actually does mean rain a little bit later on this afternoon. I'm going to show you that, show you where I expect that, because most of it will be east. But how far west does it go? Do you have that chance of rain today? And I'll show you an awesome weekend, too. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Well, let's get right to the news. Two teenagers accused of shooting at a pedestrian who was on a sidewalk in the Lexington neighborhood have been identified. We're told the two men were driving on Judy Lane near Paris Pike when those shots were fired. WKYT's Mike Byer is joining us live this morning with more on this. Good morning, Rebecca. We've learned the two names of the teenagers Lexington police arrested after shots were fired in a Lexington neighborhood last night. Police say 19 year old Xavier Johnson and 18 year old Trevantes Lillard are responsible. Police tell us Lillard fired the shots at a man on a sidewalk along Judy Lane. Now, this is near Paris Pike. An off duty police officer who lives nearby heard what happened, saw the suspects, and began chasing after them. Other officers quickly joined in. Two miles away on Augusta Drive, police say they stopped the suspects and arrested them. The officer obviously was scared though because his family including a small child was in the front room when this occurred so he actually thought the shots were being fired into his residence um, which is when he ran outside and saw that it was actually a neighbor's residence that was being shot. Now, the good news besides the two being arrested is no one was hurt during all this. Police have charged Johnson, the driver, with fleeing and evading. Meanwhile, they have charged Lillard with wanton endangerment. Live in Lexington, Mike Byer, WKYT. Thank you, Mike. Newly released cell phone footage is giving the public a glimpse of the terrifying moments and chaos inside that Orlando nightclub when the gunman went on a shooting rampage. We do have a warning for you this morning. The video 
you may find to be very disturbing. This cell phone video shows more than a dozen people packed into a bathroom stall as Omar Mateen opened fire in the Pulse nightclub. Investigators say Mateen checked social media for trending topics like Pulse Orlando and shooting in the middle of his shooting spree. So looking for notoriety this one. They also say Mateen exchanged texts with his wife saying, I love you. Later today, the managers and owners of some local gay bars and Lexington police are expected to meet and talk about security issues. Our Michelle Chamberlain is at our live desk with details on that. Michelle? Good morning. We know that Lexington's police chief will meet with the owners of all the city's gay bars today. Now, the focus of the meeting will be safety for their employees and customers. The security meeting comes after the mass shooting at a popular gay nightclub in Orlando that killed 49 people. The talks also come before Lexington's Pride Festival, which will be held June 25th. Business owners in Lexington are looking to move forward. It's not like we're gearing up for anything extra to happen just because of that shooting. I don't want fear to, to guide us in our daily life. Now we know that meeting is set for 11 o'clock this morning in downtown Lexington. At the live desk, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. Michelle, thank you. The city of Louisville will hold their annual Pride Festival parade tonight. Mayor Greg Fisher urging folks to join him during the parade by showing compassion and unity for the gay community. They'll also be showing solidarity for the people of Orlando. The annual parade starts at 7 o'clock tonight. Well, former White House aide and conservative commentator Scott Jennings will be the MC at the 2016 Fancy Farm Picnic in Western Kentucky. The political speaking event is a fundraiser. It's been held annually since 1880 there at the St. Jerome Catholic Church. The picnic takes place every August. It is considered the traditional start of the fall campaign season here in the Commonwealth. Well, we've had a fairly nice week weather-wise. It should have an even better weekend. Things are really looking nice out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a <laughs> great gift for the Father's Day weekend. Meteorologist Micah Harris is here. Yeah, we got a lot of events. We got Father's Day coming up this Sunday. Don't forget, grab a card for Dad, and you got to send it off as soon as possible because we're getting off toward the weekend. Here's your look outside right now. Clouds are starting to appear into the region. Almost looks like one of those spaceships are moving right over you because it is one big cloud deck that's moving overhead. However, what you're not going to be experiencing this morning, rain chances. That actually comes later on this afternoon. Let's talk about some events to attend maybe today or for this weekend. Bike Moorhead, you can see temperatures be there in the mid-80s for your day on Saturday. Now, however, humidity is going to be down. So during the morning hours, it will feel fantastic for you guys in Rowan County. Harbor Fest going on in Lake Cumberland. Uh, down toward the Jamestown area, a part of Lake Cumberland. And that's going to be a blast, too. That's a big family fun event, a big party going on down in Lake Cumberland. More on uh, the cycling events. Georgetown kicking off there Saturday early in the morning in Cowbell Days in Stanford. That's today's kicking off off into your Saturday. We're going to talk more about if you experience any rain chances. That's coming up in a few minutes. Yeah, and the Lakeside Live starting tonight out at uh, Lexington Green. It'll be on Friday and Saturday nights uh, going into uh, August. So there you go, that first concert this evening. Our time is 6.37 on WKYT. A Lexington murder suspect will be returning to court today. Trey Relford is accused of killing Saladin Jitmood, who was a pizza delivery driver who was stabbed during a robbery. Police found his body lying in a breezeway at the Walnut Hill apartment complex last year. Along with murder, Relford is facing tampering with evidence charges as well as being accused of robbery. His status hearing is scheduled for 1 o'clock today. A Madison County mother was sentenced to 70 years for abusing her nine year old daughter. The investigation into Linda Richmond started two years ago. Police say she withheld food from her daughter for wetting the bed, poured rubbing alcohol into her wounds and forced the child to stand in a cold shower for 20 minutes at a time. So quite a stiff penalty for her. U.S. Marshals have arrested a man accused of shooting a Louisville police officer. Jaquan Crowley was arrested just outside Orlando. Investigators say he'd been staying with his sister. They say Crowley shot Louisville officer Kyle Carroll Saturday night. The officer survived and has been released from the hospital. Crowley's arrest came a day after a $2,500 reward was offered in the case. A man wanted for a bank robbery in Bowling Green has been found dead in Tennessee. Police say Eddie Connor robbed a Citizens First Bank earlier this week. They say he then went to Tennessee and broke into a home near Nashville. When the homeowner got there, police say he and Connor fired shots at each other. Both men died. 
Investigators say Connor had an extensive criminal history and was even the subject of an America's Most Wanted episode. The Madison County Sheriff's Office says a simple traffic stop has led to a major drug bust. Jerry Massingale and Ricky Sloan were pulled over on East Main Street in Richmond Wednesday night. That's when deputies say they found 65 grams of crystal meth, 19 grams of heroin, and $5,700 in cash. Both Massingale and Sloan are now facing drug charges. A Georgia fugitive who's been on the run for nearly 40 years is back behind bars in southern Kentucky. Investigators say a tip Wednesday night led them to a home in Laurel County where they confirmed the man living there is Billy Birchfield. They say Birchfield escaped from a Georgia prison back in 1979 while serving a 16-year sentence for manslaughter. Since then, he's been going by the name of a dead cousin, Bill Arnold. Neighbors say they're shocked when they learned about Birchfield's true identity. Just a great guy, a really good mentor. Completely all the way around, just a great guy, really. I mean, it just blows my mind. Laurel County deputies say Birchfield will be sent back to Georgia as soon as possible. Well, the Kentucky State University thoroughbreds are continuing to mourn one of their own this morning. 24 year old Josh Williams was shot and killed in his hometown of Inglewood, California. On Tuesday, Williams began his college football playing career at uh, Oregon State University before transferring to KSU. Those who knew Williams say he wasn't just a star on the field, but was also a standout in the classroom. Kentucky State University is going to miss him. Oregon State is going to miss him. But the game of football is going to miss him. Police in California have not made any arrest in this case. Structural damage has forced a portion of the Lee County Courthouse to have to be closed down for now. County officials say the floors have become detached from the walls in some of the building's offices. They're now trying to figure out why that's going on. The damage affects the Family Support Protection and Permanency Services offices. Officials say both have temporarily been moved over to the Owsley County Courthouse until some repairs can be made. The Lee County Library, which is near the damaged part of the courthouse, has also been closed as a safety precaution. Officials say a structural engineer will be inspecting the damage next week. Try to find out what's going on there. Let's get a check of traffic right now, see how things are moving early on your Friday. Yeah, we're rolling towards 7 o'clock, and let's go out to Officer Don with live drive traffic there from 98 Won the Bull. Hey, Don. Hey, good morning. Well, it's quiet right now. We checked the circle and the interstate, and things look pretty good. Even in Mount Nicholasville Road from Jessamine County, uh, light traffic so far. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that for you and all the major routes in. Uh, let's get a look outside at overall dr drive times and see what's happening as far as traffic flow is concerned this morning. Coming in from J Nicholasville, it looks like about 12 minutes from Georgetown, 8. Paris will take 17, and it's normal stuff from Winchester at 22. Now back to you in the studio. All right, should be a good ride in. Hopefully a great weekend for everybody. Thank you, Don. You can get the latest traffic and weather information anytime with the WKYT Weather Plus Traffic app. Download that for free in the app or Google Play stores. Hey, good morning again. It's great to have you with us on WKYT on your Friday morning, rolling towards 7 o'clock at 642. Yeah, and rolling towards the weekend as well. Uh, yes. Thinking about that. Thanks to the generous sister of a billionaire, 17 inmates from Maine are now college graduates. We'll have more on their story coming up. Clouds are moving overhead, but does that mean rain for today? I'm going to go over that, and then I'll show you an awesome weekend forecast. That's coming up in just a few minutes. All right, guys, we brought you to this construction trailer to talk about trucks today. Which truck brand offers engines with best-in-class V8 towing or fuel economy? Are we moving? We're we going. It's the answer to the question, baby. Silverado. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> it's truck month. Qualified buyers get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus, find your tag and get 8250 total value on this Silverado All-Star. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. I feel like it's important to connect with the customers because you never know what somebody might be going through. I want to make sure that I'm giving them the experience that they deserve. I'm a pharmacy technician. You have a lot of responsibility because people's health is on the line. It's just being accurate, it's being focused. It's a good pressure. Kroger has always put people first. Just whoever walks through those doors, we, we just try to do whatever we can to put them first and make them feel special. Treating everybody with the same, you know, genuine care that I would want somebody to treat me with. I'm Deontay and I work at the Frankfurt East Kroger. 
Stanley Steamer is proud to be the first professional cleaning service to be certified asthma and allergy friendly by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. This means our carpet cleaning process removes an average of 94% of common household allergens. And our tile and grout and hardwood cleaning services remove an average of 96%, making your home cleaner and healthier. Call now about our $33 per room carpet cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. At Hair Win, we've been helping people for 125 years. If you've been injured in a life-changing accident, we can help. Contact us at HelpingKentucky.com. Hair Win. Visit HelpingKentucky.com. You've wished upon it all year, and now it's finally here. The Mercedes-Benz Summer Event is back with incredible offers on the Mercedes-Benz you've always longed for. But hurry, these shooting stars fly by fast. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Direct from Broadway to the Opera House stage, Tony Award winners, Rent, Best Musical Revival, Pippin, Family Favorites, Cinderella, Neil Simon's Barefoot in the Park, and the original cast of Jersey Boys, The Midtown Men. Order today, LexingtonOperaHouse.com. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. The good news here early this morning is we don't have any rain chance outside. The bad news is, is that milder air, that, that low humidity that we've been talking about coming in the forecast is not here just yet. That actually comes later on this afternoon off into your weekend. That's when you really start to feel that difference in the air. Now that spin over toward uh, portions of, say, the Appalachians off into West Virginia, Virginia, and then make your way just north of that, that is actually throwing some moisture into the region. The way you can see that is just look out your window right now. You're going to see a big cloud deck moving overhead. It looks like it could rain on you at any time, but what that is is just that moisture moving on in. It's, if you think about it during winter, remember during winter you get that wraparound moisture, what do you get? You get snow out of that. Well, that's kind of the same setup we have right here, except for the fact we're going to get some rain out of that. It's not much. Temperatures this morning in the 60s were actually dry this morning. Out of Bluegrass Airport, we're at 64 degrees. And, and like I was talking about, you won't really feel that difference just yet. It's later on this afternoon off into your weekend. 82 degrees is the high for today. That's good news because you got to remember yesterday we hit 93 degrees, which we haven't done since early September of last year. It's been a while since we were that hot. Not only that, but we threw that humidity in there, and that humidity is what it may feel way worse. I mean, 93 with dry, dry air in place, that's not that bad. I know it's still hot, but it's not that muggy. Well, yesterday our heat indices close to 100 degrees, and that's where you start to get a little bit uh, concerned about that weather outside being out there too long. Let me take you hour by hour and show you what's going on the rest of the day. A and look, most of the day is going to be mostly cloudy. You get toward noontime, still not a good chance of rain, but it's after that you start to see some rain move on in. Now, I know you see blips here and there, say across Jesmond County, Woodford County, and even far east, or west rather, as Spencer County, but for the most part, those are you're just talking about a slight chance of rain from I-75 back toward the west. When I say slight chance, I'm talking 10, 20 percent. Now you get around 40 percent over toward the east. That's the best opportunity for rain today, and even that isn't a great chance. So then we head off into the evening. I still don't see many problems. It starts to fade away. Off into your weekend. Your weekend looks great. No chance of rain this weekend. We're at 84 degrees on Saturday, 87 on Sunday. Guys, humidity will be down even more this weekend. So it actually feel quite nice and look great, too. If you're thinking, well, if we have a chance of rain today, we have some events kicking up later on this afternoon and evening. Should I go to it? Should I back off? I don't want any thunderstorms. It's not going to be like that. We're not talking about tremendous amounts of rain. We're talking about a passing light shower here or there. And so I would say take off, enjoy it, because it won't last long. Yeah. It's not going to take up all of your evening. So just take off and enjoy. It looks enjoy. good. Look <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Really enjoy. Yes, sir. Thank you. 648 our time this morning. Well, it's never too late to work towards your education, no matter where you may be at in life. Yeah, it was college graduation day at the Maine State Prison. 17 inmates earned their bachelor's degrees. It was all paid for by New York's Miss Doris Buffett, the sister of billionaire Warren Buffett, and her Sunshine Lady Foundation. Inmates say the program has changed their lives.
I mean, I was lost. I mean, I didn't know who I was. My identity was that of a prisoner, of an inmate, and really saw no hope at a future. And then this program just completely changed who I was. Doris Buffett started the Sunshine Lady Foundation in 1996, just after receiving an inheritance. She has donated more than $100 million of her own money to wow. help folks get on the right path. That's impressive. What uh, a good cause. It is. It's good to have you with us. 649 now, rolling towards 7 o'clock, and CBS This Morning at the top of the hour. Ahead here on CBS this morning, a major rebuke to President Obama's serious strategy. Diplomats in his own State Department are calling for airstrikes on Assad. Margaret Brennan reports from the White House. And people have donated millions to help victims of the Orlando attacks. We find out why some of the money isn't going directly to those victims. The news is back in the morning, so we'll see you right at 7. You just love it. Ready for summertime thrills? <laughs> Kentucky Kingdom, the Thrill Park, Hurricane Bay, the Water Park, two great parks at one low price. Save $10 at your local Kroger. Day tickets only $39.95. Pick up boneless pork chops for $2.99 a pound. And blueberries, raspberries, or blackberries are three for $5. Fresh food, low prices at Kroger. Gee, I got one. This is your first fish. Oh, fish. You got it? Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. It's your first bug, bud. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's beautiful. Can you touch him? Touch him, Dad. What we do is not about sickness. It's about living. All of life's moments, big and small. Each triumph and challenge. Because you were made to live and live well. And we're here to make sure you do. Let us show you how care is supposed to be. Lexington Clinic, your doctors for life. Attention residents of Lexington. Due to the recent torrential hailstorm, many vehicles have been damaged and we are forced to deeply discount them at the Glen dealerships of Nicholasville. Glen Ford, Glen Mitsubishi, and Glen Hyundai of Nicholasville. Small scratches, dings, and dents have forced us to sell these vehicles below market value. You will save thousands and these small cosmetic defects can be easily repaired. These vehicles are limited and are first come, first served. Get to any of the Glen dealerships in Nicholasville, Ford, Mitsubishi, or Hyundai today for this rare event. Getting more for your money is simpler than you might think. When you shop at Kroger, you get low prices throughout the store, weekly specials, great value from our quality brands, digital coupons, and even fuel points to help you save at the pump. No spin, just savings. With low prices and weekly deals, saving is so easy at Kroger. Come in and cross more off your list for less. Just look for the tags and save. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Welcome back in to WKYT this morning, 652 right now. Yeah, three wildfires driven by dry, windy conditions are raging out west this morning, torching thousands of acres and threatening hundreds of homes. The fight is on to try to stop that. Hannah Daniels has the latest. This blaze near Santa Barbara, California, exploded Thursday night. Driven by wind, the flames marched from the mountains right down to the 101 freeway. Firefighters raced in with helicopters to drop water on cars in an effort to keep them and the freeway from burning. It's insane, you know, it's nothing like I've ever seen, you know, it's, it's, it's terrifying, really. Very dangerous, very dangerous. Hundreds of firefighters are battling the California blaze using half a dozen air tankers and helicopters. Fire officials say this could be the worst wildfire season ever in the state. This has been a significant and challenging fire. It's burning in an area notorious for life and property loss, Structure loss and fuels that have not burned for over 70 years. In Arizona, firefighters are making progress against the Cedar Creek fire. 
The blaze has torched close to 8,000 acres. While hundreds have been evacuated, thousands more are under pre evacuation orders, leaving many families very nervous. They called and said, Mom, it's really scary out here. It's smoky. What do we do? Another fire, this one in New Mexico, has burned more than 12,000 acres. With continued dry conditions and a record setting heat wave on the way to the western U.S., there may not be much help from Mother Nature on the way. Henny Daniels, CBS News. Well, the governor of New Mexico has declared a state of emergency in two counties. Rock singer Meatloaf has been taken to a hospital after collapsing on stage during a concert. It happened last night in Alberta. The 68 year old had canceled two other concerts in recent days, citing ill health. His condition not known this morning. Meatloaf, whose real name is Marvin Lee Ade, is best known for his 1977 album, Bad Out of Hell. Some of his great hits, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. And then later, uh, I would do anything for love. Remember that song? I would do exactly, <laughs> and it went on and on. But uh, uh, let's uh, hope the best for Meatloaf. I like how you're like, don't sing. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go don't. on with that, right? <laughs> it is Friday, but we do have some serious news for you uh, this morning. Police have identified two teenagers accused of shooting at a pedestrian in a Lexington neighborhood. Right. I mean, right out on the sidewalk. This happened last night along Judy Lane near Paris Pike. Police say 18 year old Cervantes Lillard fired shots from a car while 19 year old Xavier Johnson was driving. An off duty police officer heard the shooting and saw the suspect's car. He began chasing after. After the teens, other officers quickly joined in the chase. Shortly after, police managed to stop the teens and arrest them on Augusta Drive. Lillard is charged with wanton endangerment. Johnson is charged with fleeing and evading police for now. Police say the person Lillard shot uh, was not injured in that. Well, today is the Kentucky State Police Award Ceremony. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin is expected to present the Governor's Medal of Valor to the family of fallen trooper Cameron Ponder. Other awards like Trooper and Detective of the Year will be presented as well. The ceremony starts this evening at 5.30 at the Lexington Convention Center. Love this little story. Part of a Whitley County road was dug up to rescue a dog that got stuck in a drain pipe. A family's dog named Lily, there she is, first went missing on Tuesday. A day later, the dog was found stuck in the drain pipe right under the road in front of their home. In order to rescue the dog, firefighters had to call out the county road department to dig up the old drain pipe and free the little pooch. And we're pleased to say that Lily is doing okay now, and the road department reinstalled a wider drain pipe, so she hopefully won't get stuck in it again. So, <laughs> glad she's free. That's good. Free Lily. Lily's a sweet little dog, and now maybe she can uh, enjoy the weekend along with the rest of us. Yeah, right? you know. After all that ordeal. Let's hear it, Michael. What about the weather? Is it going to be nice? Yeah, it's going to be pretty nice. We're going to be sitting there for the weekend, looking great. Rain chances around 20 percent across 75, and maybe around 75. Uh, any of those counties bordering it. Then we hit the afternoon uh, over toward the east. That's the best bet. It's still 40%. None of us have a great chance, but the farther east you are today, guys, better opportunity. Weekend looks great, feels great. That's, That's good. awesome. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there this weekend. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Nobody's more up to date than you to start your day. Have a great day.